everyone, it is Olivia. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing something I haven't done in a really long time, which is cook. Um, usually I bake on this channel, but I'm cooking today. So, uh, I'm gonna be making, it's a one pot meal, but I call it Tex-Mex slop because you really do just kind of into your bowl, which makes it sound not appetizing. It's like a Tex-Mex chili is actually the best way I would describe it. So, what you're gonna need is one of those, let me grab the frying pan that you might need. Oh no, this might be chaotic. You're gonna need one of these pans, the little deeper one, and you're gonna use that to cook everything. For this recipe, you will need chicken. You can use ground beef if you want. You can actually, you could genuinely use whatever kind of meat you want, or you can skip the meat altogether, but I'm using chicken because I have it. Then you will need an onion. You can use bell peppers if you want, but I usually end up eating around them, so I've taken it out of this recipe completely. Black beans, diced tomatoes. I like these with the green chilies in them. And then to season everything, you will need salt and pepper, dash of cayenne, smoked paprika, cumin, garlic powder. This is my secret. Everything but the elote. And say it with me, what's my favorite seasoning? Tahine. You'll need that to season the chicken. You will also need a cup of rice, basically a cup of chicken broth, uh, chicken stock, what have you. I like to buy the reduced sodium and then add more salt. And then also some vegetable oil to obviously like coat the pan and help marinate the chicken. So that's everything you'll need. But right now we are just marinating the chicken. So I'm gonna take these that have been thawing in, in the refrigerator and put them in here, fresh new bag to let them marinate and be seasoned for a little bit. I hate touching raw chicken, but oh my God. That is the grossest thing in the world. I hate touching raw meat. I have no actual measurements for seasoning this chicken. So just go with what you know, trust your gut. So we're gonna do like a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Well, that's a lot. Oh well, a little bit of cayenne pepper. Not too much this time because I don't have cheese or sour cream in the house right now to cool this down. Uh, so I'm cutting back on that, but Normally I do a fair amount. Garlic powder, a little bit of smoked paprika. Oh, that was a lot, oh well. Cumin, everything but the elote. Doing this one-handed is not fun. And a little bit of tahini. Okay, should look something like that in there. I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil just to help it spread over the chicken. If you're making this with ground beef, obviously you cook it like you do taco seasoning. Cook the meat and then you season it. But chicken needs to be seasoned before. This is gonna sit in the fridge for a couple of hours. Oh wait, I forgot something. I forgot two ingredients, hold on. Okay, so this first ingredient is not a pressing matter, but you're gonna need frozen corn. If you want, I know some people don't like corn for whatever reason. And then the other one, um, I'm also gonna marinate, it, marinate this in a little bit of hot sauce. This is the Taco Bell hot sauce. You can buy bottles. However, when you go through the drive-thru as much as I do, just use the leftover packets that you have because they give you just a handful, you know? So we're gonna throw that in there with our mix as well. I used about six packets. I have no idea what that measurement is, but Whatever, however much you want to use, you can. And then of course, once this is done cooking, you can always add more hot sauce. Also, if you don't have diced tomatoes with uh, green chilies or anything in it, use uh, salsa. It works just as well. Okay, so we're actually gonna put this in the fridge for, it's about 3.30 right now. Maybe about two hours and then we'll come back and cook this. Okay, everyone, so here's the deal. We need to dice up an onion. And I'm gonna teach you guys what my father taught me, which is how to hold a knife properly. So, see a lot of people cut up their vegetables when in these cooking videos like this. There is no, I have small hands. There's no control of the knife. Choke up, hold it this way, and you won't cut your fingers. My dad taught me that. And I'm gonna stand and do this so I have even more control. No cut fingers. So let's cut this puppy up. Okay, 
The next thing we're gonna do is saute those onions. This much olive oil or vegetable oil, depending what you have. And then we're gonna heat this up. Oh, wrong one. If I had a dollar for every time I did that. Medium low heat because before we start throwing everything in here, we also need to cut up the chicken. Probably would have been smarter to cut up the chicken first and then throw it in the marinade, but I didn't do that and it's not that big of a deal. So we're gonna cut this up once the onions go in. Pretend that made a sizzle sound. I didn't wait long enough. Here's what that looks like in the pan. Now we can turn the heat up to medium on this, make them cook just a smidge bit faster, and then we're going to take these out of the pan and put them to the side. Before I burn these onions, I also moved it to the burner closer to me so it would be easier to cook. Here's what that looks like on in the pan. Ignore the dishes that are behind me. At least they're clean. Um, and now we're just gonna, is this upside down? No, okay. And now we're just gonna drain the black beans, drain and rinse the black beans. And then once the chicken's done, we're gonna add back in the onions and the beans. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more seasoning just so there's more flavor. Not a whole lot of seasoning though. Just salt, pepper, cumin, and maybe a little bit more of the, everything but the elote. Maybe a little bit of garlic powder. Yeah, I'm gonna add garlic powder. Garlic is my favorite. Favorite thing ever. Okay, let's add back in our onions. Yeah, well, this bowl is hot. This bowl is hot. This bowl is hot. Beans. Next. Salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, and just a touch of everything but the elote, which is cane sugar, sea salt, one didn't need dad salt, corn flour, chili pepper, parmesan cheese, cheese cultures, dried cilantro, cumin. Oh, so I don't need to add cumin. Cool. We're just gonna cover that. And this part goes quick. We're just adding everything in at this point. Let me mix that up a little bit. Next we add in either, if you really want to, add salsa or the diced tomatoes. I like the juice, personally. Frozen corn. I'm doing like three fourths of a cup of rice. Honestly, I just realized I forgot to wash it. Please don't yell at me. I know, I know, but it makes it thicker. The idea is to cover the rice, but usually that's a cup. It might be a bit more. Here's what this looks like. I'm gonna turn this up to medium heat and you're gonna let it simmer and reduce for about 20 to 25 minutes. Where's my lid? Patrick, that's not the lid. Patrick, that's a pickle. Yes. Okay. Lid on, simmer. Hey Google, set a timer for 20 minutes. Cool, use this time to clean up your mess because I've destroyed my kitchen. See you in 20. 
There it is for you, all done. Let me get myself a bowl. You can't see this properly, but I don't feel like fiddling with the tripod. One scoop. Two scoops. Sorry for the bad lighting. I've had the blind shut all day, so it doesn't get too hot in here. Okay, let's give it a try. Hopefully it's not as spicy as I usually have it, but you know. It's got some kick. I don't know how to tone it down. <laughs> it's not super spicy. I would call this like medium mild. It would be really good with some sour cream and cilantro or Mexican cheese and cilantro or just cilantro, honestly, if it's not the kind of thing that tastes like soap to you. You wanna know how I know this is good? What are you doing? It's not for you, Molly. What do you think? It's not for you. Okay guys, that's it for me this week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I did have a recent Disney trip. However, I was with my family, so I chose not to make any content about it. So we're gonna do some sit down videos instead. Follow me on all social media and I will see you guys next time. Bye.